Hi, Kate. Hi. Welcome to your fitting today. Uh, I'm going to be taking lots of measurements and we'll be able to have it fully in our system um, for whatever clothing needs you may have. I know you have uh, a formal event coming up. Is I that do. correct? Okay. So we'll pay particular attention to any dress uh, measurements, um, but let's go ahead and just take everything so we have it um, basically from head down to uh, the ankle. We don't do shoes here, unfortunately, but everything else we can make for you, okay? Okay. Um, so I'll just start out from the top and work my way down. Um, we can also look at some uh, colors and some fabric textures as well. So, go ahead and get some measurements here from uh, around the head. This is so if you have any hat needs, we can make that for you, or um, some people will get hooded things. 59 centimeters. Do you mind if I move your hair right here? That's fine. Okay. And just the crown of your head down. Top of the ear. Bottom. Crown of the head too. Go around the neck here. So I'm just going to place this very gently right at the top and then again at the bottom. We won't make it too tight. We'll definitely always have some allocations there. I'm going to be getting the length of the neck now. Eleven centimeters. And just tilt your chin up slightly for me, thank you. Ten centimeters. I'm going to get from the chin to this ear here. And with clothing, because you are a relatively symmetrical person, um, we don't generally do both sides the way we would if we were going to be measuring it for a sculpture or something of that nature. So um, we'll double check with the calipers just to make sure there's no uh, true asymmetry, but um, you seem to be relatively symmetrical. So let me get here from the shoulder. And from the neck, top of the neck, and I'm going to just take a couple of measurements here on the arm. This is just for uh, sleeve lengths, so 14 for short. 26. And coming down. And we generally do about two centimeters past the wrist there, but we'll do 58 and 60. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I just look forward for me. Uh, I'm just going to uh, get now. Um, I want you to hold this um, right. Uh, I'm gonna put it here, oh. and then I want you to hold it right here at the base of your chest, at the top of the chest area there. And you can let go of this one. Just hold it there. Yes, perfect. So that is 15 for the scoop neck. Same thing, this is going to go around just about right here, okay? I'm just going to move this as well so we don't get that mixed in. It's just going from shoulder circumference. Okay. And 
And I'm going to have you just lift your arms slightly. I'm going to come right underneath at the top here. Very good. Relax. Would you mind just um, swinging around for me? I want to get some measurements on the back. Perfect. And I've got several back here. So first from the base of the neck to the underarm, 29. Down the spine. And would you say this is about before your hips start? Yes. Okay, 44. We're going to swing this around. I want you to hold it at your navel, the level of your navel. And I'm just going to grab it underneath. Very good. And same thing there. And just hold that right there. Okay. I'm going to go around the arms as well. So lift this arm up. I'm just going to take a few places. So that is good. And right at the elbow. And the wrist. Beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna have you turn very gently, just staying on the seat. Uh, keep your. I just want to see how much movement there is, how much fabric allocation. Okay, that's fine. Um, can you uh, raise your arm, um, like? this and make a perfect. We just want to get the maximum bicep size here. Okay, relax. All right, Kate, I, I'm going to have you stand up now. I'm going to do some measurements on the lower body. So Kate, I'm going to move down. First thing is I want you to hold this again right at the belly button. I'm going to get the full length of the leg. And relax it there. I'm gonna have you hold it right at the base of the neck here as well and get a full body length. Very good. Okay, and how tall are you, would you say? I'm 5'4. Five 5'4. Four. Five four. Right, I'm just gonna measure at the base of the hip. So point to where the hip is for me, please, right there. Okay. Coming down first to the knee. Then to the ankle. And some circumferences as well, so I'll get the ankle first. Thank you. 22. The knee. The calf, actually. And I'm just going to get right here at the middle of the thigh, okay? I'm going to have you hold it right on the base of the inseam there for me. And I'll drop it down. Okay. Sixty. And would you just turn around for me, please? Thank you. And again, just confirming um, the hip is right about here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Coming down the back of the leg. And I'm just going to measure from the top here all the way down. So go ahead and have a seat again. That's all we need for full body measurements. Okay. Um, but I do want to take a look at some colors, some fabrics you might like, um, do just a little bit of color analysis essentially. Sure. Okay. First, let me just take a look at the undertone of the skin itself. Do you have any favorite colors, anything um, that you like to wear? I really love to wear red and coral. Red and coral, okay. And um, what about any colors to avoid? Anything that you absolutely hate? I don't like to wear yellow or green. Yellows or green. 
um, any fabrics that you gravitate towards, any um, types of fabrics, so cotton, a wool, a, a velvet, anything like that. Um, I really love satin. Satin, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what about anything you can't stand wearing? I can wear about anything. Anything, okay, nothing you're itchy or allergic to. No. Wonderful. All right, so let's take a look at some colors. Definitely do have some pink undertones to the skin, which is probably why you feel so good in those colors. So let's just have a couple here. So let me pull a few of our reds. Test them out all new. They all have um, different tints and different undertones to them. So I'm starting out with a very uh, rich color here. I do think that looks very lovely on you. It's got a deep um, undertone, very much in the red family. Um, not just in the color itself, but uh, in the deepness of it. That's a nice color. And this one's a slightly more of a cool undertone. And that one, I do think, contrasts a little bit more with you. It is still a nice color. I don't know if you put your hand out here. So it is still a nice color, but it, mm -hmm. you can see it's a little bit stronger. It is. So that's probably less. And this is more of a um, got that pink to it. It's quite bright, but actually it really looks lovely against your like skin. It? I do, yes. Mm. So. Mm. I have a lipstick this color. I think oh, that'd yeah? be nice. Okay. Yeah. So that's definitely in the pile. Um, something a little deeper now that I think might look nice on you. It's a sort of deep purple. Mm. Might be a little too dark, actually. Might draw, um, uh, wash you out just a little bit. Overpowering. So we'll try slightly more pigmented version of that same thing. And that actually looks great, I think. Looks like it's the hand there as well. Do you like that color? Mm -hmm. That's pretty. So we'll stay away from the yellows and the greens, you said. Um, but we'll take a look at some blues. So first there. It's okay. I see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I do like it. It's warm. It is warm. Mm -hmm. um, I do agree with you though. I think the reds look a little better, but I think that that's very uh, much a possibility. This one, I think it's going to be too cool. Mm. And it is. Mm -hmm. okay. I do think that's a nice lighter option. Um, but a little bit of that green undertone, which I know you don't love with mm -hmm. your skin tone, so. Mm. Yes. Yeah. And bring back a little bit of warmth. That is nice. Yeah, I like that. That is nice, yes. Okay. Got a bit of a light purple now. My favorite. <laughs> I I think um, it's perhaps too light. I think if we can mm -hmm. find a deeper purple, um, which I do believe I have an option here, so let me find that. Okay, so here's some more options, and here's a purple that I've actually was thinking of that I think would be absolutely stunning on you. Oh, I love that. Yes, I think that looks really nice on you. I think we could make something really elegant out of mm -hmm. that. And a couple more just for fun here. This one's very bright. I'm not sure how you feel about bright colors. A little bit of a Barbie vibe, but if you are willing to try it, it could look really nice on you. And let's just do like two more. So, oh, hate it. Too, too much of a blue undertone for you. And what about a couple of these lighter pinks? These have been very, um, very in recently. Some people were calling it millennial pink for a while. What do you think? I think, if any, mm -hmm. one of these. These two are too muted for you. Do you have a preference between these two? I think this one is a little warmer, warmer in the other mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. So we have a really good pile of colors to choose from. Um, we will get these in that satin as close as we can uh, to the color for in that fabric. Um, and let's just chat very quickly about the gown for the upcoming formal event, okay? 
just want to get some ideas of what you may want. And then I just need to check that symmetry side to side very quickly, okay? I didn't see anything, but it's always good to double check. Is it an evening or um, a daytime event? Evening. Okay, so it's going to be evening wear, um, full length? Yes. Okay. And sleeve preference? I think I'd like to do sleeveless, maybe one shoulder. Oh, that would be very nice. Um, do you have a, um, a preference or a, um, a limit as to how low in the back it would go? I think I'd like full coverage full all coverage the way in the, the back. back. Okay. And what about in the front for future reference? Do you have any neckline preferences? Um, scooped, sweet, uh, sweetheart, um, a high neckline, a turtleneck? I'd like to avoid high necklines, okay. but other than that, I'm open. Okay. So some um, skin, but uh, not full coverage. Okay, so full coverage in the back. Play around with the neckline in the front. How do you feel about sparkles or embellishments? I love sparkles. Love them. Great. That's a lot of fun. And lace? I can do lace. Is it a preference or just something you could play with? Mm, I think... I would prefer a more streamlined silhouette. Okay, that simpler, cleaner. Okay, and any um, uh, preference with the hemline, the symmetrical, asymmetrical? Either's fine. Okay, and how do you feel about a slit up the leg? Yes. Love it. This is going to be an absolutely gorgeous gown. Um, feathers? Yeah, I could do feathers. Okay, so I think this is going to be a showstopper. Um, let me just quickly double check that symmetry side to side with the calipers here. Again, I did not note anything. And I think you'll be ready to go. So I'm just going to be touching you gently here. Midline. And that is symmetrical. Just see the back. Turn around and see the back. I think everything looks fine. There's no um, asymmetry jumping out, so feel free to turn back around. I'll just um, run through everything we've talked about. Okay. Um, so I have all your measurements from head to toe. Um, we can make you a matching hat to go with the outfit if you'd like that. Um, it's going to be an evening wear gown, full length, a high coverage in the back. Um, we'll play around with the neckline in the front. Um, colors are going to be some of the ones we picked out here, but in the um, the red, coral, purple range, um, voiding yellows and greens, satin fabric uh, with um, possibly some um, embellishments, uh, but probably more streamlined, possibly some feathers. We'll play around with it if we can do it simply still, and a slit. Did I miss anything? That sounds perfect. All right, well, this is going to be a wonderful dress. I look forward to your fitting um, where we can pin it and do some more detailed uh, there okay thank you thank you